Uh, yes, sir. The exam temperament is actually the main key to uh, actually perform better. Because syllabus and revision, everybody can do. Uh, but on the day of exam, your temperament will help. Mm. Although you might be knowing everything, but because you feel nervous or anxious mm. that the exam is coming like that, but you have not seen these questions, these kind of difficult level questions in your mocks, mm. that might uh, decrease the chances of clearing the phases. So it's better to be prepared that the exam will not go as planned than sticking to that I will only uh, focus on my strategy and I will stick to my strategy irrespective of the exam difficulty. Mm -hmm. So adaptability is key. Hi everyone, welcome to another session of RBI interview series. Aaj mere saath hai Ankur who has cleared RBA 2022 in his second attempt. So we'll try and understand ki Ankur ne kis tarah se tayari shuru ki. Why did he start with this prep? What is the reason ki second attempt mein hi unho ne apna exam clear kar liya while he has been working in an IT firm as well. What are the reasons behind his success? Kya kya unho ne apne failures se sikha? Ye saari cheeze detail mein discuss karenge. If you are an RBI aspirant, I would recommend the Puri video dekhe so that you can understand and not make the mistakes that probably Ankur made and learn from his successes as well. First of all, congrats Ankur on your selection. Sabse pehle thoda sa aspirants ko jo bhi ab exam dene ja rahe hai, you can probably tell them a little bit about yourself, educational background ya jo bhi hai, wo bata sakte uh, So, hi to all the aspirants. Uh, my name is Ankur Bhati. I am from Faridabad, Haryana. Uh, currently, I am working as an assistant manager in NABAD. Uh, I have completed my B.Tech in Electronics and Instrumentation Control in 2016. And after that, I have been working for five years uh, in an uh, IT sector. And uh, right now, I have been selected for grade B as well. Hmm. So, jo, uh, you passed out in 2016 from your college. What journey kya rahi? Did you prepare for UPSC or are you working from What exactly happened? So sir, uh, after I joined uh, Wipro, which was my first company, mm -hmm. uh, simultaneously I started uh, giving uh, uh, FCAT and CDS exam because I have a, uh, like a dream to join the Air Force. Mm -hmm. So I started preparing for that. Uh, so in these five years, I have appeared for SSB for eight times. And I have been uh, conferenced out uh, for six times also. Okay. So that was my first uh, glance with failure, I would say. Right. And after appearing for uh, uh, SSB, it actually taught me how to handle uh, uh, pressure because in SSB you uh, got to interact with so many people. And on the first day of SSB, there are some 400 old people appearing for the same job. And uh, on the last day, only few one or two are selected mm. so that actually helped me in boosting my uh, confidence because I was able to uh, uh, appear for that exam till the last stage mm. so after exhausting these attempts uh, since my age did not permit me to continue this uh, aspiration of joining Air Force right. so I started looking for other options mm. and uh, I shortlisted uh, RBI uh, because uh, RBI as an institution plays a very crucial role in uh, uh, working of our economy mm. and also it is in news for all the good reasons also. Mm. So from there I uh, very I got very curious about this institution then I got to know about the work profile, what are the functions, it is a dynamic uh, organization with so many departments so that's why I started preparing for RBI. So Honestly, what is reason Sarkari Nokri tha ya fir, uh, just the idea of working in an organization like this? Because Air Force passion hota hai, but bhot sari log Sarkari Nokri ki vajah se bhi, they also go there. That is also one reason because you get a lot of security. So, yahan par, what were the primary reasons and what were the secondary reasons? The primary reason was the brand of RBI because RBI as an organization, although many people might not be aware what roles it actually plays. Mm. 
because most of the time uh, people say that PSC is definitely it's the top job we can get. Right. But RBI is also just a notch down below. below, it. below it. Yes. Yes. So that was actually my main motivation. Since I am current, uh, like I was uh, working continuously throughout my journey, so I know I uh, I don't have that much time to devote completely to UPSC. So I find out uh, RBI is a good uh, organization to work in. Regarding that Sarkari, non Sarkari, I I was not inclined towards that idea because uh, although in government job you get job stability, but growth is also not that much which you get in private sector like i was earning well in my private job also mm. like the two years i devoted in this preparation my peers have almost tripled their uh, salary oh. in it because of the it boom they have switched so many jobs right. so, so their salary has almost tripled while i i was on the same salary level for these two years right but the uh, job profile of rbi actually motivated me too that, that was what motivated you so uh, uh, I remember when I was a kid, I was in 6th, 7th, I somehow had this idea that I want to join the Air Force. So, and then I went to that side of the work, I went to a military school, I studied there for a while, but I was medic medically declared unfit because of my classes. So, I can completely understand the amount of, the type of passion that you have, which cannot be explained probably in words. It's just a shock or a shock. जज्बा होता है कि यार ये करेंगे इसमें मजा आएगा तो आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड दी द काइंड ऑफ प्रेशर दैट यू माइट हैव फेल्ट कि यार इतने अटेम्प्ट दिए अभी में नहीं हुआ सिलेक्शन बट द वे यू हैव कम बैक आई थिंक दैट इज कमेंडेबल तो यूपीएससी की यू वर टॉकिंग अबाउट यूपीएससी लिटिल बिट यूपीएससी का कभी सोचा नहीं या कभी तैयारी नहीं करी या फिर डिड यू थिंक अबाउट इट एंड डिड यू देन रूल इट आउट नहीं सर मैंने कभी सोचा नहीं यूपीएससी के लिए अच्छा एक्चुअली my like uh, after uh, ssb only job or only exam uh, which i found would be suitable for me was rbi okay okay so you were working simultaneously simultaneously while preparing for rbi and other exams so manage kaise kiya ek to what was your schedule like kis tarah se manage karte the apna time table because majority students are working and they, this is what they find most difficult so how did you manage that so sir, regarding time management uh, actually this covid period was a blessing in disguise uh, for most of the it people because that uh, work from home allowed us to save our traveling time mm. so i used to devote two hours before the start of my office in the morning and i tried to complete my office by 6 pm in the evening and uh, after that i studied till uh, around 11 so that was my schedule like तो शाम को तीन से चार घंटे निकाल रहे थे थ्री टू फोर आवर्स एंड मॉर्निंग टू आवर्स दैट्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम अबाउट सिक्स आवर्स यू आर टेकिंग आउट फॉर द एग्जाम बिकॉज यू आर ऑलरेडी वर्किंग एंड यू सेट यू आर अर्निंग वेल व्हाट वाज द नीड ऑफ राइटिंग दीज एग्जाम्स बिकॉज नॉर्मली क्या होता है हम लोग इधर यू हेट योर जॉब सो यू वॉन्ट टू मूव टू अदर फील्ड बट मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है बात करके दैट यू प्रॉब्ली टू योर जॉब सीरियसली अच्छा लगता होगा काम करने में सो वॉट वॉज द नीड कि यार आर में जाना है या कहीं और जाना है so sir in uh, i was doing well in my job also uh, being a software developer mm. uh, but at the end of the day the product which i am uh, getting out of my job that was actually not satisfying like what i am contributing towards economy or so because i was working for a french mnc mm. so from that was also a kick which rbi provided that it actually uh, directly impacts the economy of our country yes so that was actually the need to and also to uh, because I justify my own caliber mm. because i know i can do better right so that that was main uh, driving force to join so with purpose wali jo bhook hoti hai that was there yes perfect let's come to the preparation now uh, you started in 2020 september and 2021 was your first attempt so detail mein thoda bata sakte ho how did you prepare uh, फेलियर क्यों हुआ उस अटेम्प्ट में व्हाट डिड यू लर्न फ्रॉम इट एंड हाउ डिड यू ओवरकम दैट फेलियर सो सर इन माय फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट आई सब्सक्राइब टू योर कोर्स एंड इन फ्रॉम सितंबर ऑनवर्ड्स आई स्टार्टेड विद कवरिंग द स्टैटिक पार्ट फॉर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम फाइनेंस एंड मैनेजमेंट सो आई पिक्ड अप मैनेजमेंट एंड आई कंप्लीटेड इट माय फर्स्ट रीडिंग ऑफ मैनेजमेंट इन अराउंड 
20-25 days okay. and after that I started with finance and completed that also in 30 days. Mm -hmm. Then after that sir, I uh, again uh, I started revision of these topics. Mm -hmm. But the thing was uh, in my first attempt the, mis uh, the mistake which I made was I only keep kept on revising the concepts. Mm -hmm. But when the notification came out uh, in January and we got to know about that it, this time it will be a descriptive and objective as well. So that descriptive practice was lacking in my first attempt. Mm. So that was actually my uh, mistake that I was not able to devote much time towards actually practicing full length mocks for phase two. Mm. So that was one mistake. Mm. And regarding the phase one uh, section and uh, QRE part, uh, I had a fair uh, base of uh, quant, mm. like not that high, but an average level of quant. So for quant reasoning in English, I did not uh, studied any uh, concepts or like uh, devoted a fixed time for concept. I just keep on practicing. Like daily I used to give some section test. Like one day I will give quant reasoning, then other day I will give reasoning English, and then other day uh, reasoning English again. So that kind of schedule I followed. So that way I uh, covered my the phase one in that aspect of quant reasoning in English. Mm. And uh, for GA part, uh, I prepared notes daily mm. from affairs cloud and from your uh, monthly mm. compilation. Mm. And uh, I, I use Evernote for uh, 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 preparing notes online. Mm. Uh, and uh, I, I segregated my notes into two parts. Uh, one was uh, the monthly GA note, which I was preparing from daily following affairs cloud. Mm. And then there was a PIB section, which I followed uh, uh, from your uh, PIB series. Right. So I was preparing the day wise uh, PIB uh, notes also. Mm. So th these actually covered my ESI part also, mm. because uh, ESI is basically GA in this uh, exam. Mm. So that was my phase one strategy. and. So simultaneously, I prepared for phase one and phase two. Note making, bhi thoda sa, you mentioned a little bit. Ek thoda sa GA pe bhi abhi because that is an actually seal for a lot of students. Problem hoti hai. So, ek to, uh, note making, mein, you must have made some folders, pages, notes, wagera, wagera. So, uh, let's say example, agar le, uh, let's say PIB 247 government schemes. So, kis se, how would you use Evernote? To make your note making much better and smarter. If you scheme in PIB, then you can update it. Because in note making, mein students are confused. So, sir, uh, as I told, I prepared one note of uh, PIB hmm. where I was doing daily PIB updates. Okay. And in between, in this news, if some news of uh, a government scheme came, hmm. so I prepared an, another note. Uh, another notebook of government schemes only and that to ministry wise so if some news has come in PIB regarding some government scheme mm. so I will uh, take that scheme mm. and uh, using your material mm. and uh, Google also like uh, we can directly go to PIB and uh, find that scheme right. so I used to make uh, uh, ministry wise scheme uh, folder also mm. And in that, uh, uh, I would uh, like try to cover all the details within 10-12 uh, lines, mm. like starting with the name and in the bracket, I would put uh, the year of starting the scheme in bold so that every time I read the year is uh, subconsciously in my mind. Mm. Then uh, I would uh, I would uh, like add the name, previous name of the scheme, mm. then the objective, then the uh, financial outlay of that scheme mm. and then the components if it has some special components i will mention that some acronyms if it has or some portals it has uh, uh, some portals have been launched by government regarding that scheme mm. so i would also update that uh, from my pib readings also right so in that way i utilized uh, my online note making mm. to prepare notes for pib as well as uh, government schemes that's very smart because normally we do we put but we update nahi karte hai, and uh, then it becomes pro problematic. Purana data yaad hai, naya data yaad nahi hai. That's what happens. GA pe, let, let's come to GA current affairs overall. Did you prepare your current affairs for phase one and phase two before phase one itself? Ya fir divide karke prepare kiya tha? 
uh, I prepared simultaneously sir. before phase one only I prepared for both phase one and phase two. So for phase one, uh, like I I used to follow two sources as I told affairs cloud and the PIB series which is run by you. So what happens in affairs cloud? Although that is also from PIB, but when I am making notes for PIB specific from your series, so it is kind of revision for me. So in that way, I prepared one monthly note of each month uh, current affairs and one PIB specific uh, note. So in that way I was uh, re revising also and also uh, after my first attempt I got to know that it is not just like uh, uh, what we are reading will come directly in the exam. Mm. So after reading a news from uh, PIB mm. like from your PIB series I then again uh, uh, if I found some uh, important ministry for example Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development has loaned something. Mm. Or let's say PMO has launched, for example, the Gati Shakti plan. Mm. So that is actually one of a major news mm. that could directly come as a descriptive question and also components can also be asked. So I will go to the actual PIB uh, news and read it from that. Mm. So in that way, I uh, covered my GA. Google be used kar rahe the simultaneously. Yes. yes, that is something that we often miss. We lagta hai ki yaar ye notes utha liye. Now I'll completely rely on only this. I'll not look outside this. वो एक मिस्टेक हो जाती है तो इसमें नॉर्मली स्टूडेंट्स क्या करते हैं स्पॉटलाइट फेज वन से पहले पढ़ लेंगे अफेस क्लाउड फेज वन से पहले पढ़ लेंगे बट दे मिस अ लॉट ऑफ अदर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स जैसे पीआईबी नॉर्मली स्टूडेंट्स फेज वन से पहले नहीं करते बहुत सारे मिस करते हैं आर बी नहीं पढ़ेंगे गवर्नमेंट स्कीम सोचेंगे यार फेज टू में ज़्यादा आता है लेट मी जस्ट हैव अ ग्लैंस बिफोर फेज वन तो माई क्वेश्चन इज हाउ यूजफुल Was your phase phase two current affairs before phase one? क्योंकि तुमने phase one से पहले कर लिया. How useful did you feel it was in your phase one self? It was actually very useful, sir, because the, now the pattern has been changed. So there is no like uh, uh, we can say clearly defined boundaries of phase one and phase two GA. Mm. Phase one GA is now also as much tougher as phase two GA. as we can see from the last two attempts mm. so i would say it's better to prepare both uh, before phase 1 itself mm. and that to uh, cover at least 7 8 months mm. so that will be actually uh, helpful and safe mm. although ideal will be to cover one year mm. but covering 7 8 months dedicatedly will definitely help theek hai descriptive pe aate hain thoda sa you mentioned you failed in uh, first attempt in rbi because of the blunder in descriptive so kaise face kiya because you are not a upsc aspirant were not a upsc aspirant how did you develop your descriptive writing skills wo ek bahut bada question rehta hai so developing ke liye basic thing is you have to start writing once we start writing then we go to know how our answers are coming out so that is the one thing i started doing so since i have already covered my syllabus from my first attempt so from this attempt what i do uh, i am covering one topic and on the weekend i used to do some two three questions of descriptive mm. which are available on uh, google like various uh, institutes your institute are also providing sample questions right, right? so i used to pick that up mm. for example if i have read uh, uh, some concept of derivatives mm. from finance mm. right so i will practice some uh, uh, after completing that topic and i will uh, give some 2 3 day gap mm. so it is not like i am just vomiting what i have read so after 2 3 day i will again uh, go back and attempt those questions mm. so in that way i was building my uh, appetite for writing the answers right so that so what i did so you took 1 year ya fir exam se 1 2 mahine pehle i would say since i also attempted nabard in between mm. so that actually helped me in stretching that for 1 year because uh, for nawad also we have to write descriptive mm. so in that way it uh, ideally 6 months is enough for uh, developing that uh, habit of writing good answers mm. that's good that that's actually a lot because upsc wale bhi ek saal nahi karte hain char panch mahine nahi karte hain so if you prepared for one year and you're right appetite develop when you start writing you cleared your your examination नबार्ड uh, तुमने फर्स्ट एडम में क्लियर किया आरबीएस बी एस ए के एडम में क्लियर किया दैट मीन्स यू डिड समथिंग दैट 
अलॉट ऑफ अदर स्टूडेंट्स आर नॉट डूइंग बहुत सारी गलतियां कर रहे हैं या बहुत एक मेंटल स्टेट हो सकती है विच माइट बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर्स वट डू यू फील वट वॉज इट दैट वॉज डिफरेंट अबाउट यू एग्जाम टेम्परामेंट ले सकते हैं या कुछ और ले सकते हैं हाउ वर यू मेंटली प्रिपेयर बेटर एंड हाउ वर यू डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वेरियस अदर स्टूडेंट्स वो आर ऑल्सो कम्पीटिंग इन द सेम एग्जाम यस सर एग्जाम टेम्परामेंट इज एक्चुअली द मेन की टू एक्चुअली परफॉर्म बेटर बिकॉज सिलेबस एंड रिविजन एवरीबडी कैन डू बट ऑन द डे ऑफ एग्जाम योर टेम्परामेंट विल हेल्प ऑल दो यू माइट बी नोइंग एवरी थिंग बट बिकॉज यू फील नर्वस और एंशियस दैट द एग्जाम इज कमिंग लाइक दैट बट यू हैव नॉट सीन दीज क्वेश्चन दीज काइंड ऑफ डिफिकल्ट लेवल क्वेश्चन इन योर मोक्स दैट माइट डिक्रीज द चांसेज ऑफ क्लियरिंग द phases so it's better to be prepared that the exam will not go as planned then sticking to that i will only uh, focus on my strategy and i will stick to my strategy irrespective of the exam difficulty so, so adaptability is key because uh, i have seen my friends fail in phase 1 uh, because they thought that uh, although the difficulty level of exam was very high but they kept on following the same strategy of easy exam so that is actually the thing to adapt as per the uh, movement of when you are attempting the exam so you develop kaise kiya that is also <laughs> sir from my first uh, failure in my uh, rba phase 2 mm. because uh, I, i when i attempted the phase 2 uh, mm. of uh, rba 2021 i uh, uh, like although i was able to attempt the questions but in esi especially in esi part the questions were not easy and they were difficult and from that mistake i learned that although i have i could have learned every like i could have covered the syllabus the news still there will be questions which i might be not knowing so i need to uh, maintain a cool head and attempt only those questions uh, which i feel is solvable theek hai to wo dheere dheere test ke through ya प्रैक्टिस के थ्रू डेवलप किया ठीक है वंडरफुल न्यूज़पेपर पे बात कर लेते हैं सो डिड यू यूज द न्यूज़पेपर अ लॉट यूज किया तो किस तरह से किया एंड हाउ यूजफुल वाज इट इन योर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ आर बी एन अवार्ड सो यस सर न्यूज पेपर इज एक्चुअली क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेशली आफ्टर द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्टिव पार्ट बिकॉज द फोल्डर विच वी गेट फ्रॉम न्यूज पेपर इज एक्चुअली quite uh, vital for uh, writing a good answer mm. and which which will differentiate from you from others so i i followed uh, hindu business line mm. and i followed it for one year but uh, let's say if phase 1 is uh, scheduled after one month or 20 days so i will stop uh, reading the newspaper and then i will uh, again after completing the phase i will again switch to newspaper mm. So it's not like I am reading the newspaper continuously till the last day of exam. So for 15-20 days before the exam, I will stop reading the newspaper. I will come uh, and also I will start uh, making notes from the newspaper reading also. So notes, किस तरह से? How how are you making notes? Were you combining them with PIB and a base cloud and spotlight notes, or were you making them separately? So for newspaper, I made them separate. Okay. Because that was like a folder material. Hmm. to be used as a, a data point or as a fact in my answer so okay. i for newspaper i prepared a separate uh, note separate folder on ever okay wonderful coming to mocks now which is our last question uh, how did you take attempt mocks uh, before phase 1 and phase 2 and how important were they aur unka analysis mein kitna time lagate the aur kaise karte the let thoda sa uske bare mein explain uh so i uh, subscribe to practice mocks for mocks mm. and uh, for phase 1 and so for phase 1 i started giving mocks one month before phase 1 mm. uh so between notification and actual exam there are 45 days mm. so before 30 days of the actual phase 1 i will start giving uh, one mock weekly mm. then after 10 days two mocks uh, week every week every okay. week okay and after giving a mock uh, like if i have given a mock in, in let's say in the morning so in the evening i will sit down and analyze that for one one, one and a half hour mm. 
and i prepared one excel sheet also of, of uh, about the scores which i was getting so that i can see where i was lacking or uh, where i am good where i am bad because in phase 1 it's all about knowing your weakness and your strengths so i knew i uh, my strengths were ga and english and my weakness was quant and lr so in i focused to maximize my score in uh, ga and english and for uh, quant and reasoning i was doing enough to clear the sectional cutoffs mm. so that was the strategy which came out from my mock analysis right for phase 2 ke liye kya kiya so sir phase 2 i subscribe to uh, uh, another mock test series of uh, another institute and uh, specifically for the descriptive evaluation part mm. because uh, they provided the descriptive evaluation because that is actually quite important to have an evaluation of your answers Mm-hmm. then only we can improve otherwise if we keep on writing and don't evaluate our answers then it is of no use because we might know, we might feel our answers are very good right but from a third person perspective it's mm-hmm. uh, helps in improving the quality of your answers so that also i started uh, full length mock for phase 2 i started uh, one month or 20 days before the phase 2 and i attempted uh, like full length mocks this time which i which was a mistake i did in my first attempt mm. so that i was uh, improving my typing speed also and uh, uh, able to complete my paper in the given time right right so evaluation mein did you see an improvement in your writing skills and in your scores yes sir uh, i uh, improved a lot uh, like uh, i started using examples in my answers after developing the habit of uh, writing the answers mm. uh, for example there was a question in uh, finance and management this time for regarding kurt levin's change theory mm. so for that uh, i although uh, the static part is same for everyone will write the static part what is the uh, change management and what are the stages these are same for everyone but the differentiating factor could be if we can incorporate some uh, real life examples that too from business world like i uh, incorporated one example of uh, uh, downfall of nokia and the rise of uh, samsung and apple because of the change management they did which nokia did not do so that kind of appetite i uh, developed by writing the answers and getting them evaluated so i knew like when i am uh, quoting some good example my marks are uh, uh, rising so that's how i implemented uh, the evaluation part so ankur how did you prepare for the interview after your phase 2 of rbi uh kitna depth mein padhai kiya kya sequence tha kitne mocks diye can you talk a little bit about that kya strategy thi interview ki prep ki so sir since my interview was scheduled in the early weeks only so i have uh, didn't get much time uh, so basic strategy is, is similar for everyone to study your profile prepare some questions from it and then practice it with either friends or seniors so that that is the one thing which i did uh, here i covered two aspects from my profile uh, which i feel is unique to me first is i am coming from a private sector and that from it domain so chances were there they might ask me questions from technical domain also right uh, and the second aspect was since i have joined nabard also just uh, before my interview mm-hmm. so questions might come from nawad also irrespective of the fact that i have just joined so in on these two lines i prepared my uh, interview mm. uh, and i don't uh, uh, took many uh, mock interviews only two interviews mock interviews i uh, take uh, that helped me in uh, improving uh, my uh, uh, like the actual expression of my answers because although i was revising the answers in my mind but in the actual interview we have to speak so my uh, uh, pitch of the voice was very fast so that was one feedback which i improved uh, during my interview mm. and other than that uh, no spe- uh, i didn't take any special uh, effort to prepare for my interview so, so actual interview or mock interviews mein jo difference tha wo kitna zyada tha and how did you cope up with that so sir actual interview uh, was actually quite uh, daunting for me because uh, uh, i was not expecting they will ask me so much questions from nabard since i have just joined 
from for only two months I have joined. Mm. Uh, so that was a surprise. Although I was prepared with example uh, for, for uh, prepared with the questions, uh, but they asked quite in depth about Nabard, mm. like the balance sheet of Nabard. They asked me and how it is different from RBI, then subsidiaries of Nabard, then some cross questions on that line. So that was some questions which actually rattled my confidence. But I kept my cool, uh, gave the answers. Uh, if I don't know the answer, I said I don't know. Mm. So in that way, my interview was like not that good also, but not bad also. So what would you recommend to other students who be a bhaage deyari karenge? Ki interview mein kya galti na karein preparation mein that you probably made because of which tumara interview average hua tumare hisab se. Uh, first thing will be sir to practice more with friends with actual having a face to face interaction mm. that will definitely help because uh, e- even if we are practicing on video call with our friend but in actual interview now it is face to face so it's better to have a personal interaction with someone mm. before going for the interview uh, second will be to be prepared that the interview might no go might not go as you have planned because uh, on that moment you have to maintain your cool and keep answering that is the one thing i would say mm. to go with an open mindset ki kuch bhi puch sakte hain right right my last question to you is about myths related to your prep jo bhi aspirant when they start with their preparation there are certain myths that they have to face jo unko lagta hai ki sahi hai ya galat hai normally this is what we face through social media we Uh, are feeded certain things ki ye sahi hai for example uh, as a working aspirant you cannot clear rbi or you need only 3 months or 5 months to clear the exam or uh, if you are not from commerce background then you cannot clear rbi so what were these myths for you because ye sari cheeze tumhare upar apply hoti hain and uh, how did you break these myths if you ever faced them uh first myth was sir like uh, you have to be from iits or some top level institute mm. to go into rbi um, because uh, the profile is based on uh, these colleges but since i am now selected i can say it is not like that and i have also seen uh, uh, past uh, interviews of other candidates on your channel or other channel which have come from very modest uh, academic background and still are working in rbi so that is one myth uh, which is not true at all and uh, the second would be sir as you said that only commerce or finance grads can crack this exam it is actually not like that uh, because although finance is part of this exam but it is not like a, a technical finance i would say it is more about the understanding of economy and that too from uh, current affairs only so that is uh, the another myth and the third is that you have to be an upsc aspirant to clear this uh, exam um, since i haven't prepared for upsc at all so i can say it is not true so these three myths are there sir wonderful uh, that's very very insightful or i'm very sure the student are going to be helped by that thanks a lot for uh, coming here and uh, sharing your success with me i'm very very glad ki aap aaye aur yahan pe Uh, अपने पूरे सक्सेस के बारे में फेलियर के बारे में यू टॉक अबाउट इट एक छोटा सा अपडेट बोलेंगे या फिर एक अनाउंसमेंट बोलेंगे वट एवर नोट्स अंकुर हैड मेड अलॉन्ग विद एक्सेल शीट दैट हीड मेड फॉर हिज मॉक्स जो भी एनालिसिस उन्होंने अपना किया था आई एल बी शेयरिंग दैट इन दिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो तो यू कैन यूज दैट टू अंडरस्टैंड कि हाउ कैन यू डू द सेम थिंग हाउ कैन यू रेप्लीकेट दिसिस दैट ही डेड and now we improved using using that analysis online notes kis tarah se ankur ne banaye how can you make similar online notes usse bhi aur better bhi bana sakte ho if you, if you have already have a very high bar so wo sab bahut help karega so i'll be sharing that uh, uh, through ankur in the description box below thanks ankur uh, i'm very sure you're going to enjoy your journey in rbi aur bahut maza aane wala hai you will have a good stint in rbi aur bahut sara impact kar paoge hamari economy Thanks a lot.